Hey YouTube, I want to talk about something serious that I noticed one of my friends going through. And you ever notice when people have things? This is what's sad. This is what disease, loneliness, depression, uh, addiction all does to people. This is one thing that I've noticed. And I'm nobody, I'm not no doctor or anything like that, but... This is what I want to bring to you guys' attention. It makes you feel alone. That you're swimming in this sea and nobody's around you to save you or hear your cries or feel your pain. And that is so untrue how it deceives you. It deceives you and makes you feel like you're the only person on this planet that nobody loves you. Nobody cares about you. That what you do doesn't matter. Your, existent, your existence means zero. And that is so far from the truth. Even if you came from a dysfunctional family, people love you. And people around you love you. And sometimes... People don't realize that. You ever wonder why the movie... What is that movie? That Christmas movie? A Christmas Carol, I think it's called. Remember when Scrooge died? And he's seen how people around him cared about him. And he came back and he had a second lease on life. That is what everybody needs to know. You are loved. You are put here for a purpose. You may not know the purpose, but that is your job. Everybody does one thing good, and they need to find out what that one thing good is. You may be able to write books. You may be able to sew a pillow. You may be able to cut grass. Um, I don't know who it was. I think it was Steve Harvey. Said something about this little boy he grew up with. Could cut grass. He cut everybody's grass in the neighborhood. And his aunts and uncles and something. And when he grew up, he ended up owning a grass business. Nobody could cut grass like that guy. And he ended up being a millionaire. And having all kinds of people that work for him. See, it doesn't even matter just even cutting grass. If you do one thing good, you're a value of purpose. And you are loved. You may not always see it and know it and may not always feel it. Because when you feel alone, unfortunately our thing we call the brain here makes you feel desolude. Makes you feel that no one around you cares. It makes you feel isolated. It makes you feel worthless. But I'm telling you, the more you put yourself out there and talk to people or go to meetings or whatever and just put your feelings and thoughts out there, the more it won't hurt you so bad. I'm, I promise you that much. That much I do know. That by talking gives you a freedom. By talking gives you a different avenue to look at things different. By talking, it just it frees you from your mind. And the bad thoughts that you may have about yourself. So, whoever is out there hurting right now, look at this crazy hair. Whoever is out there hurting right now, I don't want you to feel alone or unloved or uncared for. That is a whole purpose. Maybe that's my purpose in life, to be on YouTube. It's for people to feel that they matter. I hope it is, because that would be nothing more beautiful than me to encourage other human beings. I can't cut your hair. I can't cut your grass. But I can tell you that you are loved. And you are needed. God don't make junk, as they always say. 
And sometimes it takes a while and it takes us to hurt to find the good that we were meant to have on this earth. Sometimes we got to go through some shit to get to the pile of roses, you know? And sometimes it doesn't happen overnight. Sometimes it takes years. But we got to let ourselves grow enough to reach those points and reach out to other people that will shed light on us. Because sometimes I'm telling you something that I've just noticed in the last couple years being 55 years old. Sometimes you don't look at stuff the way some other person's going to look at something. Sometimes the way you think about things and the way another person thinks about things are two different ways. You could be missing a whole bunch of important shit in between that can make the world of a difference in your life. And sometimes you have to go, like I said, through hard times to come out and find out what your worth is and what your importance is in this world. That is as true of my husband, I'll tell you that. He never for once thought he was worthy ever of having a drag race car, dragster, top fuel dragster. He thought he wasn't even worthy to sit in a car like that. He now owns a car like that. We don't have shit, but he owns it. He begged, borrowed, and plead, and he did get a race car with an original Hemi motor. And if anybody knows about cars, they would know that's pretty damn special. And he sits in that garage every day and he can't believe that he was worthy enough to get his dream. He never thought he could live up to his dream. He never thought he was worthy of his dream. Because every time he tried to dream that dream, he would be his biggest nightmare and kick himself and say, I'm not worthy of that. I don't deserve it. And he stopped it from going just on those facts alone. And when he just started surrounding himself with different people who believed in the dream, that's when his whole life changed. So that's why you need to surround yourself with people when you're down and out about life to hear other people's point of views because your point of view will eventually change. I'm telling you, I've been there and done that. If you got any questions, reach out to me. Lisa sharing life stories with you. I'm here for you guys. I got nothing but love. God bless you all. Have a great day.